This was one of several warnings to persons still out and about. While some heeded, others were hopping mad. Along the sidewalks, people waited on public transportation. That wait, however, was long. This woman told us she'd been in this spot for hours. She was unwilling to travel on buses which were packed. Taxis too. Some taxi operators, we were also told, had doubled their fares. But as the minutes went by, the crowds became less and the police had very little to contend with. It has been about 95% um, compliant. Persons understand what is happening. Persons are aware of the COVID protocols. Per persons are aware as to how we are as it relates to our country and the spread of COVID. So they have been quite compliant. No obstacle, no, um, no resistance. However, this group of religious protesters proved to be defiant. God, we pray, we celebrate, and you do not receive. We shall stand, we stand for churches, heaven. Hallelujah, just to say churches, heaven, to the higher power, we are proud. Nothing against me, just to have destruction, destruction of God. several failed verbal attempts, the police moved to act. <laughs> Meanwhile, two hours into the curfew, we observed only a handful of people in the downtown Kingston halfway tree and crossroads areas. On the eve of the Sunday lockdown, it is hoped that citizens will comply with the measures. Prince Moore, TVJ News. Meanwhile, our reporter Dwayne Anderson gauged how residents in St. James and some rural parishes reacted to the measure. It's day one of three successive weekends of lockdown across the country and empty streets punctuated most of the towns we visited moments after the curfew took effect at midday on Saturday, which suggested enough people were complying with the stay-at-home orders. But it is what happened in the hours leading up to midday Saturday that has left many people wondering if the measures will prove counterproductive. Crowds like these were seen in almost all the major shopping districts across the country as people, some wearing masks and otherwise, rushed for last-minute supplies and the potentially transmitted the virus. All right. Some residents say the day reminded them of the Christmas grand market shopping. At that time, mm. And I know certain that the coronavirus is going to spread more than um, 10,000%. This is the most. This is what I saw yesterday. This is the Charles Gord Market in St. James. Mm -mm. Physical distancing guidelines were completely ignored. The people were perhaps too busy to care. Many okay. people complained of the impact the shortened day will have on them. Well, I'm just going to give you a little bit more time, sir. Because she got it this day. This is Sunday, not long it was so bad. But Saturday, the busy is here. One to the poor. What is wrong with the poor? Angela sent me out to report to Angela and this rogue and do it. Oh God, man, Angela now nah deal with me good. Angela now nah deal with the people, them good. Look down there, sir. When you hear say lockdown 12 o'clock, a crowd never come. Crowd never come, come gather. Angela should not do this. She should not give you until 5 o'clock today. 
further away in Santa Cruz St. Elizabeth, the streets cleared pretty quickly as the deadline approached, even though a few residents were left stranded after public transport withdrew their services. Compliance appeared high in Yala St. Thomas. With padlocked business places and empty streets, the recurring feature throughout the town. Even the streets of residential communities in St. Thomas were deserted. Residents in Manchester had mixed feelings about the lockdown. We caught up with a few of them as they hustled through the busy streets in Mandeville. In Port Maria St. Mary, street goats took over the empty streets, foraging on whatever scraps of vegetables were left behind by the humans. One of the few vehicles seen on the streets was this police car patrolling to ensure residents were observing the lockdown measure. Eventually, the police team had to offer a woman a ride home, but the exodus served as a reminder that many people do not have anywhere to go, like this old lady who retreated to a little corner to watch as the lonely hours of the next few days pass her by. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. News overseas now. Hospitals across Brazil have collapsed due to the high number of COVID-19 patients. We have more from the CNN.